right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is Nick from the Arcade Hunters. Oh, this is this Todd Rogers. There he is. I haven't seen him in a long time. But this is Nick from the Arcade Hunters. Welcome you to Free Play Florida 2019 here in lovely Orlando, Florida. We are here. It is a gigantic three-day convention of arcade gaming, pinball, console gaming. They got a whole bunch of stuff. We got a uh, free play as uh, our friend uh, Francesco from uh, New York. We got a lot of the uh, New York, New Jersey uh, pinball contingent over here. So we're going to go through and we're going to show off the games. Um, we're in the main hall, so all the free play arcade. We got like an outrun, looks like uh, graphics are garbled. ATB, Time Pilot, Super Pack. We got a, what is this game? Magic Mister. Never seen that that one. Uh, smaller Resident Evil Gun Survivor. The Smoro Cabinet. Uh, Resident Evil Area 51 Site 4. The Williams Paddle Ball. Very nice. Uh, Pandora's Box. The Mousetrap. The Mando Super High Impact Football. Some nice folks over here. If you guys are watching, thank you for the uh, little Salem Moon thing I got from you. The Galaga 88. Dragon Spirit. This is really neat. I didn't even know that there were there was a version of Blades of Steel that had a trackball on it. I'm pretty sure when I played it originally, it only had a, had a joystick. That's the original Blades of Steel. Got an original punch out. Got a nice uh, gigantic um, Star Wars. It's not working. I was playing it before. Got a couple of folks uh, selling some games and stuff over here. Got an original punch out. Go through some of the pinballs. You got T2 Rise of the Machines with a uh, color DMD. You got a high speed. You got a Mario Bros. with a ball stuck. You have uh, a Genesis with the uh, much needed um, alternate trans light so it doesn't have the weird uh, the weird uh, actors on there. You got Space Jam. Ice Review from Gottlieb, Gilligan's Island. You got an original Black Knight, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Iron Maiden, Jackpot, and it looks like the uh, Tuning the lights down. It's Stingray, Aztec, Hot Man, Fire and the Party Monsters. X's and O's, a tic tac toe game. And that says uh, Midway's Catlin Kid. I'm gonna try to go around some folks that have some nice art set up. Got some more arcade games over here. I see a Double Dragon. We got some. Uh, Got some celebrity guests of our uh, Warren Davis and uh, Jeff Lee from uh, Gottlieb. Some of the guys that worked at Gottlieb uh, helped break Hubert, one of my favorite games. Double Dragon, Defender. We got Mario Brothers, Tutankham, DK3, nice red cabinet. Crystal Castles, Mega Man, Power Battle. Dr. Mario, very nice um, sit down original speed racer. Fortunately, missing the topper and uh, second player unit and a TMNT. We got folks selling some buttons, making buttons. Oh, over here we got even more games. We got a lot of stuff, uh, people uh, brought games. Um, we get to the uh, tournament area. Uh, our uh, Black Knight Sword of Rage was brought in from our store. We got some of the newer games. So we got uh, Star Trek, Lord of the Rings, Batman the Dark Knight, uh, Avengers Pro, T2 Judgment Day. Go over. Ghostbusters Pro, Roller Coaster Tycoon, Jurassic Park Pro, Metallica Pro, Deadpool Pro, and Game of Thrones Pro. Excuse me, sir. Like Roller Coaster Tycoon, they put the uh, purple EMDs in them. Got Wildfire from Stern. Second time I've seen this, my uh, friend uh, Steven's got one. A couple of uh, more games they've added in. Uh, Pop and Music, not sure of the version of it. It's on a CRT, so it's obviously an older, older one. We'll, we'll go down here after. So we got Frenzy, Popeye. We got people, sorry for the guys back. Watch your back. Cable Boy's not working. We got the Jungle King. Ghosts and Goblins, uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat uh, Conversion Kit. I don't know what this was converted from. Big Buck Hunter Pro, Hydro Thunder. 
Firefox, the Kroll. Turbo, Tempest, and Vanguard down here. Nice Kroll. Got a Mario Brothers, an original, so it's a chunky boy. Awesome, it's a good Got folks uh, playing playing games all night. George Lowell, the uh, voice of uh, Space Ghost Coast to Coast here. Roncho, Phantom. Mario and Freddy uh, down. Was working before. Space Mission. Another high speed. At the Sorcerer. Always nice to see a Sorcerer. At Toledo. High and low ace. Shack attack. Got roller games. Operation Thunder from Gottlieb. Haven't seen this one before. Very nice. Got an uh, these guys have an Alice Cooper's Nightmare Castle. They're doing a charity pinball event, five dollars. From the, uh, they're called the District. Wow, the highest score is a hundred and thirty-seven dollars. One hundred thirty-seven million. This is Joel Jolo. Hubert, uh, Warren Davis and Jeff Lee are here, but they're out at the moment. Got a DDR Extreme over here. I'm gonna get everybody's, uh, get a sweat built up. Got a two slot um, Neo Geo, Metal Slug 2, and Wooden Jammers are on it. Another APB. Tempest is out. We got Centipede. Play Choice. Uh, some Burger Time on it. 720, UMK3. Rampage and Dragon's Lair. Very nice they brought Dragon's Lair in. Nice uh, shuffle alley. You guys are from Soft Sock Plunge and Double Danger Pinball. They make all the cool uh, pinball shirts. Got a lot of uh, some pinballers, uh, Chris Franchi's here. Looks like um, I saw a couple of the guys from uh, Cinemassacre, but I uh, haven't seen James yet. All we know is, he, yes, I know you guys want to have another interview with me and Shane. If it wasn't awkward enough, we're going to do it like nine years later. Yeah, Dirty Mario Brothers. I don't even know what's so dirty about it. Why are they dirty? Let's see. Well, they're not naked, so it's not like a... Uh, what makes it Dirty Mario Brothers? I don't know, but it's up here on the stage. So we got the guys from the Pinball Lounge in Obedio. I, I hope that's the way you pronounce the name of the, the town. It's a little uh, bit, I think, west or east of uh, Orlando here. So they got a nice cold beer, uh, Beatles Gold, and uh, Butch Patrick is here, so they have a uh, limited edition Munsters. And uh, Chris Franchi, the uh, artist, who's done a lot of the great artwork. He did the Beatles, Batman 66, he's here. So let's check out this world, this island again. We got Swords of Fury, or is if you're a fan of uh, TNT amusements, Swords of Fun with the Lion Man. Got Bonsai Run. It's a really nice uh, Cybernaut. Never played this game before. It's in really nice shape. led it out. Really nice game. Jack, Jack. Hey, how you doing? Good. How you doing, man? You want to say hi to everybody? Hey, hey. Hey, on the YouTubes. On the YouTubes. You got, um, you got Daniel Tenza, who is, uh, I, I'm probably pronouncing this, butchering his last name. But, uh, yeah, he's uh, the, the actor, the original uh, Johnny Cage from MK1. You got Cactus Jack. You got Pinbot. That 14's out. Got a lot of folks here tonight. People uh, wait, wait for this uh, this convention. We're not even going into the pinball area. When I go in the pinball area, I'm gonna be very quiet. Get a diner and another pinball. There's Chris over there. We got Butch Patrick's not in right now. We got Paragon. Sweethearts. Jack's open. See the Keith Mobiles over here. Jack in the box. It's around. Uh, like nine o'clock as I film this, so a lot of folks are uh, out getting dinner. Hang glider from Valley. That's a different one. Yeah, it's strikes and spares with the giant lady that just loves the bowl. Women of every size, even if they're gigantic, love the bowl. I think she's been dating the big brave, even though they're from two different companies. 
got a volley. There's a volley in the corner. So here's some more free play uh, pinball. We got Buck Rogers, Flash Gordon, the Trident. Yeah, there's a Sea Witch. So we got Sea Witch and uh, DDR. Sea Witch and uh, Beatles. Last Action Hero. The X-Files. Looks like there's no glass on it. They're working on it. Working on a Batman. Wipeout. Waterworld. Lights, camera, action. We got Street Fighter. The Arcade Monsters from uh, Central Florida. They're here. They're going to be doing... Um, they got. They had a Juke Beat over there. Or U Beat. Whatever. Uh, how you like to pronounce the name of that game. Got some nice cocktails. Got a Pac-Man cocktail. This Pac-Man cocktail. Another Pac-Man over there. A 10-yard fight cocktail. Mr. Dude. So here's another island of games. We're going to go around to try to get all the islands. We got a Working Tempest. Got Missile Command. This is the Triple triple One Missile Command Millipede and Centipede. Got Tron. Meltdown. Never seen this one before. There's a Gorf over here. Hopefully this is working. It was uh, frozen before. Yep. It's working. So someone made this awesome last Starfighter cabinet. I've seen this making the rounds online. Uh, wasn't working properly when I came over to it, but hopefully I'll get a chance to play it. You can see the fans of this movie. Absolutely awesome because they never got the arcade version out. They had that really garbage NES game, but you can see they redid it to make it look like just like the movie. It plays just like the movie. It looks really cool. Tried to make it into a real game. Very nice. We got Atari Warriors. We got a lot of rare Ataris. And they got blasted. There's another hard one, fortunately. Uh, that's not my camera. That's a screen. We got a um, European food fight. So it's in the smaller cabinet. We got Peter Packrat, which is another rare one that we've uh, seen at uh, the uh, Chicago and the Galloping Ghost. Marble Madness, Escape from the Planet of Robot Monsters, a dedicated unit. Unfortunately, it looks like the gentleman isn't here. Oh, beautiful quantum. Very beautiful. I mean, looks brand new. But this is really cool. Unfortunately, the, uh, the gentleman isn't in, but um, they're doing uh, Moldorama. Now, these are things from the uh, 1962. First appeared in 1962, so this is from the 60s. And they still have these around. So um, they got a, they got a uh, Mickey Mouse one, and they have uh, the Sinclair um, dinosaur. It actually does say Free Play Florida on it. And you can see what happens after you use the molds for too long. You can see they start to sweat because they, they pump in hot injection, uh, the the plastic mold to it and it makes it it makes the uh, makes the toy in like two minutes and you can take it home you can paint it so when you pay for the convention um, you get a ticket to get a, um, a free mold orama got ice cold beer flaming finger looks like I have to go all the way around and I want to go into the the Tron area got a Astro Blaster with a screen that's rolling hoop it up which is really cool is, uh, if you guys remember this game as kids hoop it up um, the company that made, uh, if you go on to uh, the regular pimp, the Arcade Hunter site, you'll see um, the baseball game that we played over at uh, Dave & Buster's. Uh, they're doing a basketball one, the same company uh, from, I think it's IGS out in Korea. So they're going to make another game, so it's going to be a complete basketball game. Operation Thunderbolt, looks like the screen's a little garbled. Got the gravity hill where you're moving the thing over. Saxon, but yeah, here's something really cool. The Marble Mad, Marble Madness 2. Now, from what I know, like this game never came out. There's only a few prototypes of it out there. It's very weird because you're playing Marble Madness with a joystick. And not used to playing Marble Madness, you know, like I remember playing it on uh, NES and hating it. But it's very weird, there's like a lot of power-ups. There's obviously, you know, a three-player game, they wanted to get more folks in there, in the arcade. Got Asteroids Deluxe. Liberator. Nice original Star Wars. Stern. That's a Mazer Blazer. We got a uh, cliffhanger over here. Looks like it's running on an original uh, laser disc. It was working when we first got here and uh, Stargate. Mazer Blazer uses the, um, the thing to make it look like it's a bigger screen on it. And this is really cool. They got this uh, thing set up in here. So they got like, um, they got a ton of Trons and they got a ton of Gorf. Try to come in here, let's see if we can get in here. 
Oh, he's got the Tron 2.0 stand up. Really cool. He's got a whole thing in here with all the different Tron stuff. So it's like free, free joystick with purchase of two M Network video games. Uh, Tron Legacy Pinball. That's uh, that's an LE. Very nice. Uh, Mini Tron. A regular Dissatron. And a beautiful environmental one over there. Good luck getting in there. And you got three dwarfs and a nice. There we go. Big ups. I know he's a friend of mine on uh, Facebook. And I got to meet him over in uh, Chicago to um, George Gomez, the designer of the Tron. So we got some more. We got some. Uh, we got some little ones. We got some. Uh, we got some cabarets and stuff like that. So we got an R type, Monaco GP, a Tempest. This is a uh, a Tempest from uh, from Europe because it's got uh, German on it. Flax. There's a baby Gorf. Baby Flax. Uh, I'm pretty sure um, Gerard had this with Tetris running on it. You see the baby. Um, Neo Geo, the baby one. I've seen this is like the second one I've ever seen. Um, Eagle, which I know, uh, I think Gerard has, I think he has, uh, he doesn't have Eagle, he has, um, what is it, or he had Eagle. No, he had, um, I forget the uh, Phoenix. Kicks, or Quicks, I feel like you pronounce it. It is on, on the on the flyer, it's Get Your Kicks, Q-I-X. Dig Dug, and Centipede, I love these ones. The spiders. And check this out. Look at this Astro Black. Look at this Astro Fighter. It's so tiny. Why would they make it like that? I don't know if they just like. I, it's it's small in those arcade one-ups, so you need the riser. Keith Apicaries here. We got the popcorn machine set up by uh, the one and only, the gamer of the century, Mr. Billy Mitchell. Doesn't look like he's in. I gotta break some money so I can get some, uh, I'm gonna get some hot sauce. I miss the hot sauce and they don't sell it where I live, considering he's in Hollywood. And Hollywood's uh, closer to where I live compared to here. But this is really cool. We're in the Pinball Museum now. Stevie Ball. Magente, Magento. Flying Colors Jr. Now, what's really cool, some of these do work. So you can actually play them. There's the first Valley machine ever made. Valley Who? I went with a song, what will they play in 32? They'll play Valley Who. Rambler Playboy. A couple over there, I don't want to get any folks away. Playgirl. Yeah, you can write down and uh, see how much uh, score you can get for the day. Sorry about that. Ace is high. Three Ring Circus. Really cool. I mean, these are these games are like from the 30s. 33, 32. Got something like that have uh, that have electric on them. That was a whole new thing. And here is the very first Gottlieb pinball machine ever. That's Baffle Ball. Here it is. Original Baffle Ball. Look at that. And they have the nice marbles. That's why it's pinball. 1932. Some are for display only, you know. They're from the 30s. I don't expect all of them to be working since they were just going to throw them out back in the day. The Keith Mobile's here. Uh, Keith running around in it. Nice to see him again. For uh, Donkey Kong. And it says not Mame on it. We all go we all know the uh, the stuff that uh, Billy Mitchell went through. I'd rather not talk about that. That's all all bull of worms, but he got the score. I mean, we went to the first con off, we saw him play. Do the arcade monsters have everything set up? Oh, they got a gold Neo Geo. Very nice. Champion Edition Marvel. Some nice uh, candies. Got these guys that have uh, some nice indie games. Since we're talking about indie games, we got the Cosmotrons this year. Really nice uh, independent game. The Cosmo from the Arcadeaholics LLC. 
the brand new game. It's a, basically it's a four player version of um, like Gravatar and and uh, Space Invaders. You got to fight the gravity and stuff like that. Very very difficult. I hate I hate Gravatar and stuff like that. I always died on it. So not really good at this game. I only got to play it uh, one player. So I don't. Not sure how I would do uh, with three other players. Nice baby battle zone. Galaga and Scramble. Elevator action. The Jumpman returns. That's a different art package for it. For DK2. Not the, like the purple one. Pac-Man original. All oh, the space zap. This game gets a lot of play. At the uh, one arcade my friend uh, Jeremy Fox runs. They love that game. Eyes. Visit of War. So not used to it because you have to play it backwards. Good gals, Galaxian. Some folks have some old games. Now I got uh, some of the consoles and the retro computers are over here. So you can play like some uh, classic computers and stuff like that. Yeah, so, but check these out. We got some candies. We got some nice Astro Cities. So we got uh, Dog Starkers on here. Uh, Street Fighter 2X. Check it out. Oh man. So I forget which team this is. It's like Bug King or something like that. But originally in Japan they were coin games, they were card games for kids. And everybody found out, yeah, it's using these really nice, beautiful screens on these things. So everybody's been turning them into um, homemade uh, JAMA consoles. So they got a nice uh, blazing star running on it. Nice original uh, Donkey Kong cocktail. Very nice. Sucks you can't do a two player on it. Um, they're going to be doing uh, some Bomberman 10 player. And over here we got a Parodius. I think this is a Violent Storm fighting game. And uh, Batigan from, uh, from our fine friends, The Wonderful Cave. And look at that PNV. Sony Professional. DDM. Professional video monitor. Nice AVP. Unfortunately, only two players. But we're gonna, we're doing a super long form. Harmful Park on. Wow, that's nice. Oh, it's got a. It's running a PS ISO. Really nice. PS ISO is awesome because you can play all the uh, all the all your all your ROMs. Sorry, bud. There's Francesco. Now we're going into the uh, the pinball. Pinball Hall. This is all the stuff that uh, is on. I'm gonna try to keep quiet because I don't want to get. I want to jinx anybody. We got the. We got the Sharp Brothers are over here. The whole Sharp family's here. I to actually meet Roger Sharp. So this is our. Um, this is the main hall. So the A and the B divisions here. So we got Tron Legacy, Bali, uh, thought up for Robo War. We got uh, Sinbad, and that is our Black Knight that we uh, donated for the for the championship. So that's the one from Pinball Dude. It's got our uh, got Joker Poker, the Devil's Dare, Guardians Pro, Centaur, uh, Williams Grand P, and Meteor. You can see the guys are set up on. Uh, we got the stream set up. All the guys getting the stream ready. Now Pinball Lounge has their uh, setup over here. Now Bloom's eight ball, Valley eight ball. I'm sorry. Some of our I tried to do the fan. Good luck. Zach from Mars. Bill Kurtz uh, donated it. We're going to be doing uh, it's the remake about Ellie. Norma's over here. So this is our, our um, the classics row. Looks like we're uh, working on some of them. So we've got uh, Victory, 2001, Grand Slam, Flip a Card. There's that guy. How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. That guy over there, he's doing good. Our friend Norma's helping do the scores. We got uh, Flip a Card, Quick Draw, and El Dorado, City of Gold. And over here for the Belgian chimes for the uh, female, the ladies division. I don't like saying females. That sounds like a sound like a Ferengi from uh, Star Trek. Star Trek. But yes, let's. Uh, we're really separating the the women from the girlies. Because you got TNA, Total Nuclear Annihilation, the 30s. Um, Secret Service is uh, giving them some, uh, giving them a bit of grief. We're working on it. Uh, Metallica, Pro. Lost World, and finally The Walking Dead Pro. So yeah, you gotta play uh, Walking Dead 
and TNA. <laughs> so have fun with that. Nice, uh, nicely done um, Metallica. Beautiful. And a Valley Walls for a great game. So all the boys and girls are here. There's our friend from uh, from Project Pinball. Project Pinball, awesome, uh, awesome charity event. Hey, Ben, brother. Good to see you, Lee. One of our friends, Lee. Lee is here. One of the uh, finest pinball players. We got yeah, the Project Pinball. Uh, great, great uh, tour for great charity. Um, they donate pinball machines to uh, children's hospitals. Give them something to do while they're uh, recuperating uh, from surgery and from cancer. Great, great organization. Look them up online. And uh, all the volunteers here that are keeping this thing running. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to have to piece this video together. This is almost half an hour. And this is just Friday, so I don't know how much more stuff is coming in. There is. There's. We'll show you who's up on. Yeah, that uh, Robo War was playing absolutely brutal. Andrew Rosa, uh, the second. I played against this dad. Now his son's here. I was like, hey, if you. And his and his son is just as good. I watched him do uh, 450 million on his. Um, on his orb multi-ball on Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Absolutely insane. How you doing, brother? How you been? So that is the... I can't believe how many people I know here. Like they from New York and from Chicago, all over Facebook and stuff like that. They're all here. They're getting ready. So here you go, folks. As a look at the tournament section and the main play hall. I'll have some more videos. I did bring the uh, tripod get some more videos we get some uh, interviews with some of the some of the some of the folks here like that they got the whole mobile system I need that look at that oh please please donate to my patreon <laughs> I don't have a patreon that's what I need that whole thing out there that's that is awesome all right folks hopefully you enjoyed this little uh, video tour the, the line for this is going to be absolutely brutal. But uh, once again, thank you very much. And uh, we'll talk to you guys all later. Take care. All right, kids. Uh, supplemental video for um, the walkthrough tour because um, this weekend is IAPA, the uh, big uh, the arcade show that they do out in, uh, over here in uh, Orlando. So uh, Jersey Jack, Chicago Gaming, and Stern uh, pretty much just dropped everything off and brought stuff here. Hopefully you can't hear the uh, the sound over uh, over here. But um, we got Dialed In. Uh, this is an Ellie of Dialed In. An Ellie of Willy Wonka. You can see it's got the blue sparkle coating. Uh, I had a, I got a video of it when um, one of the guys from uh, Little Shop of Games brought brought them to um, brought them to a tournament. Um, this is the this is the regular standard model. So you can see it's got just the black trim on it. It's not numbered. But over here is uh, another LE, and this is um, the collector's edition because they do collectors limited. So you can see it's autographed um, Everlasting Gobstopper. You got the the brand new playfield. You can see uh, the sparkle on there, the candy sparkles. So it's got a different playfield. Still has the uh, the Wonk, uh, Great Grail Swank Evader. Um, the Pro does not have the Great Grail Swank Evader. Um, the, the shot is still in the game, it just doesn't do it physically. So you still have it there. And um, got, keep flipping pinball. They got, um, the, this is the Yellow Brick Road, uh, the last, um, the last Ellie of, uh, Wizard of Oz. Let's get the topper. The topper for the Wonka bars. And you can see the boys and girls. There's a lot of folks here from, uh, from, uh, Stern. I don't know that gentleman's name, I know he works there. Uh, they got a Jurassic Park Premium, Star Wars, uh, Comic Book Pro, so we get to show off the Comic Book Pro. Elvira Premium. Uh, we will be getting Elvira Premiums in very soon. The hand of fate is late. We got a Munsters Pro, Jurassic Pro, Guardians Pro, Deadpool Pro, and there's a uh, 
Gomic Premium. And the boys and the girls from Chicago Gaming are here. This is the brand new uh, revision of Medieval Madness. Look at this topper. Let's get the topper. Ooh, look at that. People are absolutely insane to this. They just want the topper. So this is the revision that they did. Um, kind of like what they did with Attack from Mars and Monster Bash. They redid all of the, um, the colors in the dot matrix for it. And then they've got uh, Monster Bash, uh, LA. Got a, well, these are the premiums. You got, you got a premium Monster Bash, and then these are the, the pro Monster Bashes that make it look like the original. So you can see, like, it still has, like, the, the dot matrix display, but they do, um, but it more looks like, more in tune to the era, original Williams. Very nice. Great game. And then, uh, the Double Danger guys, they brought, um, is a Roy Clark's The Entertainer for sale. Another, uh, cocktail game. They want a Roy Clark game. Fans of Roy Clark. It is Rampage. Got to got to meet Jeff Lee over there finally. I I bumped I uh, I missed him when I was at uh, when I was in Chicago. I didn't get to see him, but uh, at Galloping Ghost. But finally got to meet him. And we got uh, from the American Pinball Company. We got the Oktoberfest, their new game, Pinball on Tap. Their new game, super bright, super colorful. Very weird uh, art style. Some people like it, some people hate it. But you no, know, I'm all happy. Like we say, competition breeds excellence. It's great, great to see another company out there making some games. And uh, you know, you know, their first game was Houdini, Master of uh, Master of Illusion. I think I forget what the subtitle is, but we just call it Houdini. And then uh, this is their new game, this Oktoberfest. So. Very nice they got it out, so um, give them some love. If you see any on location, give it a play. Here's the DDR Extreme. James Rolfe still isn't here. I saw some of the Cinemassacre guys running around. Jeff Lee's getting set up. Someone broke the Qbert. Nice Qbert. Nice Qbert. No. See uh, Warren Davis photograph the side of it. From the fine folks at Gottlieb. Yeah, Hubert Mad Planet, Three Stooges. He was the artist. That was Jeff Lee. I had asked him about the. Um, when I was a little kid, I had one of those like read your own adventure books, and it was a Hubert one, and they said, just tell me something about like they have a Hubert coloring book. And he said, no, it was from somebody else that did the art for that. A nice Cuber. Always one of my most favorite games growing up as a kid. Glad to see it. I was not the only one. And I, I love the, the Stern Pinball Alley sign they have that's actually made with uh, pop bumper caps. And I realize I say that word too much. I apologize. But yes, yeah, real pop bumper caps on that uh, Stern Pinball, Pinball Alley sign. So oh, there we go. That's an updated look. Uh, now that the uh, the rest of the guys are here and they brought the rest of their games, um, here's Elvira Premium, so you can see some of the differences. You can see it just says Elvira's House of Horrors. It doesn't have her uh, lying on the side. It doesn't have the um, doesn't have the side art. But pretty much, it is the same exact game. Uh, just had a brand new update. Um, we just sold the uh, the last limited edition we had at the shop, and we should be getting the uh, the new um, the new uh, premiums in. So we'll have a video for that. And yep. guys, uh, send me one, please. Thank you. Just 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 send me one. I want one. Look at that. Look at that. All right, guys. Take care.